Hello, hello. We are here again on Thursday. Hello, everybody. Welcome to, I'm so proud of you for making this time change that we don't make here in Arizona. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And for those of you who have missed it, welcome to the repost. <laughs> this is, can you see that? I don't know how many bead and button shows ago. Not too, too many, maybe three, maybe two if you don't count the one that didn't happen last year. COVID, uh, COVID. Anyway, so this is Neely's design. And you can see what he did was he used some cool paracord and he did this kind of thing. This is the whole pattern for that. And this was a make and take that you could participate in and Neely was there that year. Anyway, so I said, you know what? I need to push some triangles. <laughs> I just have like 11 sets of triangles back in the, in the shop. And I know that you guys will take advantage of them as mandrels if you want. Um, they're also at, everything's featured, you guys. Uh, when I do a show, I um, actually, Sarah does all the featuring for me. <laughs> Thank you, Deb. I don't know how long you've been here, but if your ears were burning. You've been talked about. Um, so, yeah, so we're doing... The Gitchy Gumi. I think I spelled that wrong. I've been spelling it wrong. It's I E. I don't know Indian, American Indian very well. <laughs> anyway, so we did this, but I wanted to do a refresh because I love I love this this shape. It's called Gitchy Gumi because it reminds me of an arrowhead. That is the short story of where we're going with this. I hope it's not too confusing. Anyway, it's called Gichigumi. And what I did was updated, updated, updated. There it is. So you can see Neelay's stuff is on the bottom here and this new one is on the top. And they're all kind of askew because on the jig, that is how they make the most sense to make. This is the pattern for you guys. You can get this uh, free at John Bead. Here's my banner. Do, 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 do. Uh, here we go. So all these templates, um, not the jig ones, but the temp these templates are free at Bead Projects and PDFs from John Bead Facebook group. Um, and this baby is what we're doing today. I'm, I made these into slides. And what I did was instead of just using the one size that Neele did, we have three triangles. So that's why I did three sizes. And I'm today working with some beautiful shell pearls, chuck pearls. Um, and I think they come in like four sizes. And this is what they look like. They're right here. I think, did I put the, the links up there already? I don't know that I did. Let me do that. Okay. So much to remember. So I think I put it down here. Let's see here. We're going to do this. It's week 11. I'm going to grab all of this whole thing. It's going to look smushed on your, uh, um, in your comments, but let's go back to comments. Let's go back to comments. You were one of the Facebook users. <laughs> Maybe that's why you said, hello. <laughs> oh, well, I'm glad you're a StreamYard user now. Okay, so here we go. These are all of the links. I hope they work. Tell me if they don't work because they look all smushed together here. And you know how links are. You need like some things together. So look through there's. And the top is, these are 10 to 16 millimeter check bead pearls. Okay. Look at the, look at this lusciousness. We're, we're working with the rose gold ones today, but these cream ones are absolutely gorgeous. And Deb just did, if you guys aren't familiar, oops, it said that one didn't work. Let me try that again. Um, it says, wait a minute and try again. So we're going to 
post right here and see if let's see if I put I think I tried this before but let's see if I put some no it won't let me do that okay anyway I tried it again so cream pearls if you guys did not see I think it was Monday wasn't it Deb that you were the rising star I think you're not rising I think you are the star <laughs> in my book um, but anyway for Jesse James beads and she did this adorable um, choker kind of an open choker with pearls that was just gorgeous not with these but some other ones here it goes to Amazon thank you Stephanie you are amazing thank you so much for your help um, so anyway this is what um, we're gonna be starting today and the these let's go down instead of instead of always showing you I'm going to go to this page and we're going to take go back to banners and we're going to take that free template thing off and we're going to go back to here a little bit of futzing around here so um yeah hey Deb if you have a link to that go ahead and put it in there that would be great so this these are the Aren't these gorgeous? These are rose, uh, rose gold. So on that link, if you'll go to that one, there's all the colors in there that this comes in. What I got were the cream and the rose gold, you guys. But there's purple, and I was like, wait a minute, how come I didn't get all the colors? <laughs> how come I did not get all of the colors? I do not know. Um, so that's what we're going to be working with today. I'm working with the copper color. I always have to put it here to remind myself. This is the 12 gauge. So we'll be building those frames with the 12 gauge, guys. And then I really loved this light copper with it. It's a little fuzzy, doesn't it? I hmm, wonder what's going on today. Um, so anyway, here's the light copper in the 18 gauge. And this is what's going to be used for... Um, putting those uh, together here let me see here what can I do um, anyway and so we're also going to be working with we're going to be building two uh, with this guys and then I want to show you one more idea here and what I did was you know that you can use um, let's go to here you know that you can use these as elements as pendants the thing about these here we go I will go back to down blah, blah, blah. so much to do is that we have this nice thick opening right here this nice thick bale that could you could put rubber through that leather you could put anything and when I saw thought of that I thought oh I let's do this whole different idea um, you know I've been seeing scarves tied to purses and things lately and just kind of loving that whole scarf thing plus it's spring and summer and you know we love all the accessories don't we so if this one shows you so this 16 this is the 12 gauge guys and then this is what we're doing right here is that we're using the con the um the 18 gauge Show you how to do it really simple so i go to um i go to tj maxx with my mom the other night i'm like i need to find scarves are they even in i don't know <laughs> we're gonna find a cheap scarf and she's just <laughs> my mother for those of you who don't know her hi mom <laughs> she doesn't like to shop so for her to be at tj maxx with me at all is she's like spending some time in the cooking section she likes meat. She likes to make meat, like three pounds or more. <laughs> Hi, Terry. You are forgiven. <laughs> it's good to have you here, Annie. Ah, retired media tech specialist, Miss Stephanie. Mm. Okay. So that's sort of like a marketer. Not. <laughs> anyway, I, I'm digressing again. Where was I? I'm at TJ Maxx. can't find any scarves I don't know why I love scarves they should be more in style we're gonna create a new we're gonna bring the scarf back you guys okay 
So what I did find, we go through and buy all this other stuff that, of course, you don't need. I don't need. Until I find scrunchies with scarves on. Okay. And I'm like, okay. So I'm tearing this apart in the store. And she, mom and we got all this stuff. And she's holding my phone. And she's holding this. <laughs> she's like my, my partner in crime. And so all that this is, is a scrunchie but it's got a scarf tied onto it. And I want to show you the size because this is kind of a cute idea. Now, of course you can just go to Joanne Fabrics or if you've got a scarf at all oh, home around, you can do this. But I just thought it was such a cool idea. It's my idea, so <laughs> of course I think it's cool. All it is is it's, you know, like what is this? It's probably 24 inches by about like a foot deep you know, as a triangle. And so we're going to make one orange and we're going to do a little thing. Okay. Uh, we're going to make two of these. So I think we're going to have a ball. So then I found these had fingers on it, right? Because I wanted to do one in black for this because I thought it would go really well. Um, Let's get this off to the side. I'm like, I'm, I'm losing space here. Let's get that off there. So let's go back down to here and show you. So I've got half of it made, right? And I have these extra ones because I didn't know exactly what I was going to be doing with these. But I made three of the big ones because I was going to do like three big ones, graduate, 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 and make this really cool statement necklace until I decided, hey, I don't have that much room on this scarf. <laughs> So we're going to try to do some things. This this probably is going to go a little bit uh, over an hour because we're already at, what are we at? Uh, we're at about half an hour already. So you can see, but there's three sizes, right? So here's the, the big one. This is a three-quarter inch triangle. Here is the half, no, this is the, this must be the inch. This is the, th the three-quarter inch and this is the half inch. And then what all I'm doing is I'm loading them on. I kind of just like, you know, rolled it all up here, that triangle, and then slid them on. Okay, so let's go ahead and make a medium and a small. And then we're going to go ahead and make one in orange because I want to make one to wear with this outfit that it won't match. I wore this outfit to do the rose gold ones. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'm sticking to this. Okay, let's do, let's go ahead to this, guys. And we're going to go here. See, this one goes with my glasses. Okay. So, okay, let's, let's clear the decks. Okay, we're going to put this one off to here. We're going to put this off to the side, too, up in here. We've got our trusty hammer. So this one, we're going to grab a template that we're going to use. Remember how to use these templates, guys. So this is the slide setup. So this is very easy. This one um, differs from, I have to close my eyes to talk, to think, um, is that this one will have one seat coming down. I'm going to call this the seat loop, and this is the bail loop, or the top loop. I can't remember what I did in the yeah, thing, but it's clear in the instructions so one goes down one goes up same size even though they look a little bit different um, and then for the small one we're going to work with eight inches nine inches ten inches giving you plenty of wire and we're going to start with the 12 12 gauge aluminum wire which where did i put that i just cleared the decks too well i think oh here it is okay so we're still working with right Still working with the copper color. These need to come back down. Guys, if you have any questions at all, please do let me know. And here we go. So did I bring the, no, I didn't. But okay, so we're gonna make the medium one, which is nine. I know that this side of the paper, this is eight and a half, right? I don't need no stinking ruler. So we're going to do this, and we're going to just cut it to about here. Ta-da. 
of it. Okay, and then we're going to do what we do every week. We're going to make that quarter inch. Here's this, this is an inner di diameter of a quarter inch. It's going to be a little bit bigger than here. So, um, so we've got that covered. And here we go. It's going to start by making that first loop. Someone asks every time, what about the aluminum? Is it going to mar? If you're careful, um, you'll get very little marring. And with the aluminum, it's surprisingly strong, um, especially in the 12 gauge. So we really don't need to do too, too much to it. But here I can see I didn't trim that down very well yet. So I'm going to open that back up and I'm going to trim it a little bit better. I think I trimmed the other end and then I use this end. <laughs> All right, let's trim that down. Yep, did have a good group on it. All right. And then we're going to move that back in. Now, if it's a little smaller than a quarter inch, we'll be fine, right? And then we're just going to keep working our way around here uh, with the chain nose. And what we want is some really nice, crisp corners, right? This one's going to be more acute than this, than this one. So we're going to keep working around here. And I just used the pattern. And I'm going to get in here, and I'm going to mark this with my player right here. I'm going to bring it up. And I'm going to bend with my powerhouse thumb right against there. And if you go over, you can um, you can you know back off. And if you don't, if you go, if you're under the the um, angle, uh, then you can add more. And when you do this, when you mark it, remember which side you're marking. <laughs> Unless you don't care to be like super, super. You know what? I'm doing the wrong one. Okay. I'm starting over. Let's see if we can correct this. I, I want to make a medium one, right? And I went to this, the biggest one. Let's see if we can, let's see if this is correctable. It's not too, too bad. You can see some marking here. So we're going to start on the other side with the trued up end. Although I didn't like it that, that much. So we're going to get a nicer end here, one that I can actually use. All right. And if you guys want, the instructions tell you to go ahead and do this later on. But if you want, just grab and, and uh, do, use your rounder your wire rounder or your needle at this point because once it's made, it's it's made, right? And you can't get at it as easily. Okay, let's start this again. I'm going to keep this down as far as I can to the bottom. Okay, pretty darn nice. And that looks nicer already. By the way, in case my friend Mary is watching, you I have you can see I just put I have like right up here. This is this is doubles as my computer stand and my and my player holder. I don't know why it's just it's amazing. I'll just send you a picture of it. Okay, so let's get back down to here. These are all you guys twelve. Gauge. If you guys don't have the aluminum or you want to try this, they have got some nicer uh, wire or whatever wire you want to use. Uh, just use what, what you have. I'm really digging this aluminum wire now, though, because it is just the cat's meow as far as all this saturated color. I am so into it. Okay, so I'm going to go on that side of it. I'm going to make this really acute, cute, acute, cute, acute angle and I'm loving how nice and crisp those are can you see so I'm loving loving that okay here we go pretty darn good I'm gonna crispen it up a little bit you know take advantage of your plier because I'm gonna do on this side so I'm gonna go whoops here 
See what I'm doing? I'm like blocking it. I'm going to go on this side of this. And make that a nice angle. Now, if you get here and you're like, I call these Wonder Bread angles if they're not nice and crisp. So if you're like, I want, you know, a fatter angle, if you can get in here, if I had two, uh, my preference would be to have two of these chain nose. Um, I would do that. But what I'm going to do is as close as you can get to that, I'm going to take and just kind of crispen it up a little bit. And I can get in here and do that side too. It's a little wire trick for you. Okay. And then all I have left to do is this uh, angle down here, this loop. This is the loop. So here's a trick. If you want it to be centered, you're going to make it here, right? Can you tell what I'm doing? So I put my one round nose in here, and I'm going to use the other one. And this is a good way to make sure that it's, and I, you know, tip it and put it back in here. I just thought of this. <laughs> and put it there like that. Look at that. Turned out pretty darn good. I got to say myself. Okay, so I'm going to clip this right where it starts to intersect because I want it to lay flat. And I still have this much wire left over. So remember I told you I've given you ample wire here. I'm just going to true this up kind of make this go a little bit further in and make sure that everything is as I want it. Now again, I you don't really need to do super duper amount of hammering, but I like to do a little bit just to kind of show you. Um, especially don't do a whole lot of hammering if you don't have a nice smooth um, hammer like this. You want to do a little bit because you want everything on the same plane. If we're making stuff, everything's warbly. You know, this is one of the things that you, uh, this is one of the things that is our, not our nemesis, but characteristics of wire. You know, it's like working with hard thread, right? I don't know where I come up with this stuff. Hard thread. <laughs> okay. So there's one. I'm going to quickly do a smaller one, and then we're going to put them all together. Hopefully I won't lose it. Put it up there just so I can show you again. And we're going to work on You guys don't have no questions? I'm, I can't be that good of an explainer. All right, let's chew this up. Throw it out. I had an uncle that couldn't pronounce a T if he save his soul. Where to put that? Okay. My mother just texted me. Are you watching, mother? <laughs> Are you yelling at me? <laughs> My poor mother. The love of my life. All right. I'm going to go back to here. Start this beautiful loop. And you can see when I got to the loop, I just stopped because I already knew that we were going to have to go straight. So we're not making really a, you know, a complete loop. It's kind of like a P or a Q. And this one, if you're going to start making these, I would start with like probably the bigger one because the smaller one, just because it's this big fat gauge, you're going to want to, uh, you know, practice up a little bit before you make the small ones. Although they're super cute. And I'm working right right off the right off this the coil here this time. Okay, Stephanie, here's a question. I'm an excellent spleener. Oh, Terry, I love you. Um, Stephanie says, can you cut 12 gauge wire with regular wire cutters? Okay, this is a very, 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 very good question, Stephanie, the photographer. I love your pic 
They're so cute little girl on there. <laughs> anyway, um, not normally, okay? But aluminum is so, so soft. It's strong, but it's soft. You know what I mean? So you can with this one. Thank you. That's a perfect question. Thank you so much. Um, and yeah, so with this one, you can. And I'm just using regular old cutters right from the John B. Pro. So and if you guys are familiar with me from before, um, you know that I use um, that I wrote steel wire jewelry and I'm a big uh, lover of steel wire. And um, yeah, so you would have to use a heavy duty cutter that way. OK. All right. Let's make this one. Let's get to here. And you can see again using that powerhouse thumb. I'm working against this hard edge of this player here. Like needing the player work for me. Okay, pretty cute already. Now I was too lazy to actually cut this, and, and so I'm working with all this, so I'm kind of at a disadvantage here, but you guys will be smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. Um, yeah, I kind of shorted this one a little bit here, so we're gonna I'm gonna back off. You do it the way I should be doing it. Lazy girl. All right. So let's see if we can't say, so you're really short on wire. You just really want to make this work because I've already made two bends and a loop. Okay. And here's where I'm going to get back in here with my wonderful, wonderful nylon jug pliers. Not too, too bad. Okay. Let's make this work a little better up here. There we go. Not perfect, but pretty perfect. Okay. We're going to go back in using that cute little technique I just taught you. Start the loop. Switch around and finish it. There we go. Pretty cute. It's a little oblong, but you know, this is going to be covered here. So this, uh, if you guys are kind of like following along, what ends up happening is that this becomes the seat for the pearl. In Neely's version, it's a focal, right? So darn cute. But we need to add pearls and we need a place for them to sit. So that's what we're doing. Cut a little bit more of that off. Okay. And we're going to get back down to here. Just going to make this all the same size. I'm going to pinch it in a little bit more. So there's a lot going on with this little one, I got to say. Right. Kind of want to true this up a little bit here. And remember, I mean, you want to kind of have this. You don't want to do too much to this because it is the aluminum. Okay. So here we go. We have the, the medium and the small. Just to give you a reference, here's the large. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab, I'm clearing, I really cleared up, cleaned up way too well here. Where is my light copper? Here it is. <laughs> As an old boyfriend used to say, don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. <laughs> Okay, so like four inches, we're going to go more like six. I'm just going to cut two of these. I really like the way that this looked together. 
um, and especially to show you guys the contrast between. I'm just loving it. Okay. All right. I'm going to cut this off a little bit more. Get it in your eyes on your site. You're welcome, Stephanie. Okay. So this is the large pearl. Let's make sure that I'm doing this right. This is the medium pearl. And there's a small pearl. And then there's an extra small pearl that we can use for the earrings if we want. I don't have to use all the pearls and all. But I thought they're graduated, so why not sh you know, do something that takes advantage of that? Because in one strand, the cool thing is that you're getting four different sizes. And let's see here. So that's the 10. So this must be the 10. 11, 12, 13. Yep. 10 to 13 millimeter. Love that. Look at the luster on these, you guys. Isn't that amazing? I sound like I'm on QVC or something, but I really do love these. <laughs> it's not hard to sound like you're on QVC when you're working with these great John Bead products, honestly. All righty. See, I don't know. That's just not, I must be not paying attention here. So I'm going to just do a little bit of shaping here to the top with a needle file. And so here we go. So we're going to make a cute little figure eight or infinity loop head pin, very long head pin. So just with the very tip, and this is just done on your pliers, I'm going to go here. So I can't feel that right, right to the edge. And then I'm going to turn, 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 turn till I get to the end. Can you see that? Then I'm going to do this. And I'm going to make the other go as far as I can. And I'm going to bring this around. And then that's going to be my back. Okay. At that point, I'm going to hold this. And I'm going to, because I want to bend right where that hard edge is on that chain nose. Okay. And there we go. I'm just going to close up that one a little bit more. But I love this because it just gives a little bit of something. Now you could do, you know, you could do a spiral. You could do a little triangle. Maybe we should do that one next um, to sort of fit with the theme of the triangle. That would have been a cute idea. Isn't that great? You're like, I oh, have this great idea. And then you can make it even better. Okay, so load this in here. This is 18 gauge and it goes right through this pearl. So awesome that all these things work together. And I'm just going to bend this against the dome, the sphere of the pearl. Okay. Then, super duper easy, I'm just going to go through here. It's got a seat. I'm going to hold that close. Here's where you're going you're gonna to create this sort of tension. So I want you to hold this close here. And then we're going to go up and around. Whoops. Let's make sure. Let's go up and around this way. You see something kind of moving. And I go I go around this one twice and then come back down. And it's in there. It's not going anywhere, right? Then what I'm going to do is I'm just kind of like straightening this with my finger, but you can get back in here and gently do it with your um, – I'm going to trim this to about an inch. And then I am going to – do this. I'm going to just make a coil. I'm going to keep on coiling. Coil, coil, coil. Just with the very tip. And I'm going to turn it on its head or tail, whatever you want to do, and put it in there. And that kind of just does this nice little hidey thing here on the back. And that way you're kind of, you know, working at a couple different things at one time. 
Now this one, you can see the, you know, the contrasty. So if you don't want, if you don't like that look, you can definitely, um, you know, use the matching, uh, the matching wire. Lots of wire. I mean, this stuff is so like, what, what, what is it, you guys? I didn't even look at the price. It's like so economical. It's amazing. You need definitely all the colors. I like, I don't think I got all the colors and I was going to tell Carmi, I'm like, Carmi's our um, marketing director extraordinaire. I mean, this lady is smart. Um, like I need all the colors. I don't think I have all the colors. <laughs> Not that I'm, you know, mercenary or anything. <laughs> Okay, let's try to make like a little triangle since I said that. So we're just going to create just a tiny little one here. And it's going to be off center because we've got to go down. And we're just, uh, we've got to go down the pearl. And is that not cute? Oh, I might even like this better. Okay. And there we go. Just a little bit of a triangle just on the tip of your chain nose. You don't even need to get your round nose out. And then we're going to do the same thing here. A little something. Something, something. Grab that. Okay. Look how cute. Now, I will say... That these check, you're going to have to pick which side is better. Some of them have a little bit of, um, you know, just a little bit of the coating uh, from the drilling and stuff is a little uneven. So what we're going to do is choose the best one. But, oh, I like that better, don't you guys? Okay. Another question, Vicky says, if you don't have aluminum, could you use 18-gauge artistic wire? Vicky? Good question. Um, you will need two gauges of wire here. For this, I think so. I think so. I have a feeling that this aluminum gauge is not quite 18, so you'll have to figure it out. But, yeah, I think this will fit through there. Yeah, try it. Cool beans. Okay, this is adorable. I love the triangle with the triangle. I gotta say it. Okay, so now if you don't want to go all the way around, let's see if we can do this. I'm always looking for different things, options to show you. So we can go really close in. So I just went in the back of that loop, right? And I actually want to come up through the loop if I can get there. Let's see if I can make this work without wrecking anything. Because the trick is that you want this tension to stay tense. What I'm saying was a tenseness. So there's a lot of stuff I got to do to hold this in place. <gasps> I think it worked. That is so cool. Okay, so you do have to get it really tight. So just kind of grab in there and pull, 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 pull. You want that to be nice and tight. I'm not getting the tightness I want. Just by going, and I think I can just tighten it up a little bit more with my chain nose player. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think that worked pretty good. So you're going to have to play with that if you want to just kind of hide this a little bit. So as so you can see, the difference between this, what I did here is I went all the way around and just kind of looped it really easily. And this one I had to, you know, kind of feed it around. And the problem is that you could, what you could do with a, um, a finer gauge wire, like this type of binding is better with like a 26, 28, something where it's more like a piece of thread. This, I can only get it so tight. So not a super duper huge fan of that, even though it looks like 
it um, it's a little bit better as far as hiding, you know. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to cut this again. Let's do like a little bit more. Cut it to about an inch and a quarter, inch and a half. I'm going to try that again. Let's try to make a spiral this time. And I'm working on my spirals. I'm just going to take that very tip and I'm going to make like a little hook and then I'm going to flatten that hook. I'm trying to do it with like an open spiral and I'm not really like, I'm just going to grab this Ugh. and see if I can't get a very closed spiral. Here we go. I always got to show you every trick I think of. <laughs> no wonder we're like, we are now over an hour. <laughs> okay, so some I will say, because I'm never going to let you say a little bit, some of the coating is coming off because of that very hard thing we just did that was really stressful for the wire. Okay, so, but if you're not working with this aluminum, the spiral will work better. So I'm just spiraling it down until I get it to a place where it's used in up enough wire that I can just, cute, flip it right in there and that is going to um, hide that. Now, you can see I've got a little bit too much play in here. So I would probably redo this one myself, but we're not going to do that in for the essence of time right now. The essence of time? Not sure what I was trying to say there. Tool magic on your tools. Yes. Oh, you know what, Vicki? I've never had to be a tool magic person. But, yeah, I know Neele is a big tool magic guy. I'm going to get some because he is very smart. Let's see here. Can you cut? Have I got all my things? Good, good. So happy that I'm keeping up with the the um, um, questions. All right, so let's put this sucker together. So what ha happens is that basically I sort of fold this up. You guys remember, most of you probably the 80s when you did, did this and you folded the triangle in to make just, you know, a very um, uniform thing. Well, oops, I forgot to do one thing. So see, this is this way now, but we forgot that we do need to change the orientation on this even before you wrap it. And I'm going to do it so that the opening is toward the back. So I'm going to just switch this over. And tighten that up. Okay, and so this is, ah, it's a whole different thing now, but we're going to pretend I did it right. So definitely change that orientation before you do that. And then we're going to go ahead and put that on here and see if we like it. Oop, make sure it's nice and closed. You have to order me some tool magic, man. Ah. Did not like what happened there when I adjusted that, you guys. Let's do this right. All right. And now we're going to... Try it again. I always like to see, like, can I make this work? Like, what? how far can I push this? Do you guys do that? How far can I push this wire? Isn't it nice of me to make some mistakes so you guys can tell what you would do in the event you make a mistake? <laughs> So nice of me. You know, it would look more like an arrowhead if it was kind of coming down a little bit more. There's another thought for you. All right. 
So holding this in and still liking to go around that head. And so that's what, see, that makes a lot, lot a lot um, more um, smaller profile, I guess you want it, would want to say. And I'm just going to open this back up. And coil it, coil it, coil it, coil it, coil it, coil it, coil, 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 coil. I was wondering why that coil was so small before. It's because I was going around so much more. Whoopies, don't go anywhere. And then, yeah. Okay, and then just feed that little guy in there. Okay, better. Much better. Let's go ahead and fix this one-ish. I really like that spiral too. Let's see what we can do here. I am going to switch this one this way. See what I can get away with. I said to put the opening toward the back and I'm putting this in toward the front because it just worked better to have that that way and close this up nice and tight. You don't want the scarf like working its way out, you know. Okay, holding this, make sure your orientation is right. Everything's front, frontwards. How come frontwards isn't a, back, a word if backwards is a word? That's what I want to know. It helps I have a tongue out when you're doing this. Ooh. I just had to have one, one go away. Okay. And I remember I had to make this. I was futzing with it, and I had to make this. So I'm going to really, really tighten this up so that I can get this through there and to make that bail a little bit smaller. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to open it a little bit while I'm working this in. And then I'm going to close it when I get there. You can also just open it and close it right on here too instead of you don't want to feed it through there is an idea for you <laughs> to tell myself you don't have to make all the same mistakes in this in in all the mistakes in one broadcast you can you can <laughs> sparse them out a little bit there Brian all right okay here we go liking it Oh, liking that. Then I'm going to put a knot. Hi, Hope. Right? Hope says you learn even more from mistakes and more creativity happens. I know. Sometimes it's like, oh, I kind of like that. <laughs> Thank you. You're so sweet. And Stephanie, could you use smaller beads? Sure. Um, if you like the way that they're seeding in this, um, you can, you know, you can use smaller beads too. As long as they're, I think as long as, so the, the smallest one is 10. I think that's as small as I would go with this unless you change. I'm like talking down here. Unless you change the size of this. Here, let's put it under here. So this is this quarter inch inner diameter, right? Is going to have a nice seat. Well, let me show you the, the smallest bead it would help. Oh, that's the one that fell on the floor. Excuse me. Here it is over here. The joys of live broadcasting. Okay, I can't lose my, my scarfy. Um, so you can see that is about as small. You might be able to go with like, I don't know, an eight, but then you can just make it smaller. So you can adapt it to what you have. It's a good question. Thank you, Stephanie. 
And, okay, so let's go ahead and see if I can't. This one's just getting very small. So there's a lot of scarf in between here. So the knots are smaller as well, you know, as we go along. So let's see if we can't. Let's see if we can get this one on without opening and closing it the way I sort of envisioned. I won't say right because, you know, even though it's my design, I haven't made it a thousand times. And I think that you really can. I mean, part of the coolness about, um, I'm going to switch that one up a little bit here, smoosh it up, um, about production work is you sure know how to perfect things as you go along. I mean, if you make even, you know, three of something, you're going to learn much more, right, than just making one. And I usually make, honestly, like one of everything. So even though, like here's a good example. We'll go to this. This was wonderful to figure out how to make these really uniform. This, um, which by the way, this these uh, this is part of the Brenda Schwader steel line that I do with Sarah Hannes, my partner, and she makes all these. I made the first one, <laughs> and then she makes all of these. If you need this, it's on Etsy. Um, so, little aside there. Okay, so back here we've got this, and I think this one got a little bit bigger, but we don't want to make it too big now, or because we've got all of our all of our knots sort of the way we want them. So basically, we've got this sort of focal piece, right? And you can see if we want to go up like this, this is obviously not going to go around your whole neck. So remember, this was the one that was about two feet across. And this is what we're ending up with with this particular design. Now, I thought I'd just grab some of this fabulous lipstick ranch leather. It's got some sheen to it. So I thought, wow, could we do finish this? It's way too long. Uh, super, super long. But what if we sort of work this through here and finished off you know what this is the wrong this is the wrong sheen this is so i guess i wouldn't do this i like the sheen with the pearl but this uh i didn't realize that when i pulled this this is more of a greenish and this is rose so ugh. so i would probably do something like kind of black right and then attach it or put like a real chunky kind of like um uh Let's see here. Real chunky kind of like Chanel type chain, right? Let's get rid of this thing. Get rid of this thing like it's nothing. It's my beautiful necklace. All right. This necklace, we're going to take this off. It's tied on. So let me see if I can close my eyes. There we go. And show you how this would work on here. But My, my first idea was go back to TJ Maxx and get another one of these and then just sort of like tie both these ends on. And then maybe what I would do is on one side, I would tie I would tie on um, a jump ring and then a clasp and then have it kind of clasp, you know, or you could do clasp on both sides, blah, 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 blah. But I went back and there was another black one. And I don't think this is going to work. So... We're going to move. I, I could make the scrunchie into a knot. I think I would, but I can't. Okay, so anyway, you get the idea. Let's go ahead and make this, because I want to do one that is in orange, and I want to do it. That's kind of cool, hey? So that we can make an actual slide going on. It's not going to match my outfit, but actually it didn't match it all that well either. So... Let's use the biggest one, and we're going to go ahead and I want to grab one of these big ones here. So, just so you know, so that'll be the 13 millimeter one, right? So, yep, here's the first one. Those gently back in there. <laughs> okay, so we are going to 
put this right here. And we're going to go back to our drawing board here. And just see how this goes. I'm so excited because, well, I hope this ends up in my hat as cool as I think it's going to look. Okay. Can you guys believe it's already the 18th? Did you guys do anything cool for uh, St. Patty's Day last night? My mom makes a really great, it's her favorite meal of the year. She loves Thanksgiving, but as far as meals go, she made this killer corned beef. She bakes it instead of boils it, and it just turns out this, it's one of those things like a tenderloin where you don't open the oven, you know, like at all. <laughs> and it's in there, I think it's like five hours. So... So yeah, that's what we did. We had some friends over and had a really nice potatoes and carrots and cabbage. You can't do this without cabbage, right? So you know what? I wasn't liking that this was kind of straight here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually, remember I was telling you that I would stop right when it comes, but actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to bypass And what that does is that I don't get a flattened area of my circle. I'm going to get a nice round area. And then I can always back off. But remember what I was just saying? Remember what I was just saying? I just said it. That um, the more you do something, the better you can get at it. Okay, that's better. Not perfect, but better. And we're going to start with this bigger one. So we've been done these two now. We're going to do this one. So same thing is we're just laying everything down here. And we're going to do this. I don't like that lump in there. Okay, mark it here. And really use again that powerhouse thumb. Get that nice acute angle. It's a little bit bigger, but that's okay. If you want precision, precision, that's when you need. So now that's a jig. If you need everything to be the same without getting to like a totally machined piece, this is still all handmade, right, guys? So, okay. And then we're going to go back to our trick going in. So we can have one loop up here, one down there, so that it's centered. Back off a little bit so I'm not hitting my end. And make sure you're actually forming against, yeah, there's the tool magic. That'll help as far as I can get. And back again. I'm going to turn down a little bit of oval. Okay. I've been noticing that I really that using like either the very tip of my round nose or the very base of it for a lot of the things I do with wired when I'm showing you guys stuff. All right. Not too, too bad. So let's grab some of the 18 gauge. Remember that the uh, aluminum only comes 
in two gauges, which I thought, oh, it's going to be so limiting, but it's amazing how much how much I've been able to do with just the two gauges. So if you guys have seen a, a couple of the other shows, I mean, I'm even using it for ear wires. Pretty amazing. Okay, so let's just grab about, you know, four inches. Might be the overkill. And let's on this one, let's do that triangle again. So, oh, there goes my door. <laughs> Someone said they didn't want the outside in too much anymore. Did I put that away? Looking for that file. All right. So we're just going to snip a little bit better off here. Okay. And we're going to make that triangle. And we're going to hold this and we're going to use that to steady everything right and then you where you want that fold you're just going to fold straight down here and you've got the cutest little head pin you ever want to see and let's grab that big old pearl pick our favorite end okay and zoom right down the middle here all right here we go i'm loving that not that pretty against the way? So next week, we're going to be, I'm bound to determine I'm going to use um, some pearls. You guys, where are they? I'm using, these are what we're using next week in three different sizes. These are Chuck pearls again, but we're going to work cream with apple green. Cream and apple green. I just have it in my head that that is going to be phenomenal. <laughs> okay let's get that in here nice and tight so you're already so you're also binding these things together too right okay and then again Ooh, remember remember what I did wrong I did it again so we're going to actually I'm going to put that to the front again so don't forget to do that and have it close. I have to go back to the instructions and make sure that that's what it says. Yeah, I got to back off because it really makes a difference if you don't do it first. Okay, so I have that where I want it now. And then that's in the bottom. I'm going to back off. Sorry, Charlie's. But with this, look how nice that just evens that whole thing right out there. It's, it's really like warm when I do that. All right, so now it's where I want. And now I'm going to hold that in there. I can see that it's a little bit too far open. If you're not soldering, if you're cold connection, connecting, you really need to watch your um, your plain loops, how they open. Right. Okay, make sure this is nice and tight here. Okay. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys. And then this last piece is going to help keep this tension on here as well, too. Because we are getting a little fancy. So let's go and do that inch and a half again. To keep that from, and there's no one else here, but I like my eyes. I bet you do too. And, oh, we're going on an hour and a half. This is a record. I just had it in my head that I wanted to show this other idea to you. So thanks for sticking around, you guys. And... We're going to coil, 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 and we're going to feed that in there. Okay. 
Okay. So, you know, also, there's a little bit of pressure here, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I would, I would make that over again so that was nice and tight. But I do want to show you what I would do here. So I'm thinking this will be cute. I'm hoping. Let's see. The pressure, the pressure. So I've got this little scarfy around my neck, right? This is the one that I pulled off the scrunchie because scrunchies need scarfies, right? Every time I hear scrunchie, I think of the, did you guys see the Sex in the City one where um, she's dating the one guy who breaks up with her on the, I can't remember his name now, on the uh, post-it note. And he, he writes a book and he talks about this lady with a scrunchie and she just does not let him get away with that reference. He's like scrunchie. And then that was like kind of what she said about, you know, his writing when he let her read the book. Okay. Make this really, really small, or you might have to have someone else help you put this on. I think I got it. I think I got it. I did. And so, so you're just kind of like pushing this through and there's some tension in there, right? That's kind of cute, is it not? Kind of like that. You know, like that, or you can like do, I'm trying to do it, but I, I know I'm backwards here. So here, because I keep pulling it <laughs> where I don't want it. You put like another where is it? Another knot behind it. It's kind of cute, you know, it's another little idea, a little something there. <laughs> well, that took a while to get to, but thank you for <laughs> thank you for the patience. <laughs> oh my gosh. Suzanne, okay. So Suzanne had to leave three minutes ago. That's okay. Mwah. Thanks a lot for joining us. Um, so I'm glad you liked it. So to, for next week, what we're going to be doing is working with that apple green. And um, also with the, um, we're going to do a different shape. And it's going to be a lung shape. A little bit different, a little, little crafty. But then... I said to Carmi, please challenge me. Send me some stuff. I want to see what I can do with it. Challenge me. I'm going to put this in my blog, you guys. She sent me some pretty wacky stuff. Some, some stuff was just like more wackier colors. But I will show you next week what May is, April is going to be all about. And then May is my birthday month, so we're going to be doing, uh, it's all about me month. But April is the challenge me month. So we'll see what I come up with. It's going to be some fun stuff. That's what I think. <laughs> um, Stephanie, you are so sweet. She's just, thank you for showing us so many, teaching so many skills. I, I hope, I hope you, you feel that way and then not like, oh my gosh, she just goes on and on. But it's like, I do like to give you like a lot of stuff all in one. Um, and especially as I'm thinking about it, and I'm always thinking about different options for things, um, you know, this this could also do something else. And, you know, when he we could have, who knows, who knows what she would do. But it's kind of cute. Now it's hidden. <laughs> anyway, we're already about an hour and a half. You guys, please do share this if you if you had as much fun as I did. And um, more information next week on um, that auction for uh, Beads of Courage is coming right up. Um, it's a little bit too late to get anything in. Uh, we closed, um, although I don't know, you know, if I would, if I can, I would still accept things. I got some things to show you next week that Becky Forsyth sent me. She's such a sweetheart. Um, and anyway, we are just going to have a blast and we're going to make a lot of money for Beads of Courage. Mwah. I love you guys. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Make sure to visit the Etsy site uh, for these beautiful, if I do say so. Look at that thing. 
How about that? <laughs> Got lots of making we need to do yet. So mwah. love you guys. We'll see you next week for sure. And that's about it. Thanks for popping in. Love you. Adios. <laughs>